Well, when children enter foster care, the goal is to help them find a safe and permanent home as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, thousands of young people simply age out of the system without a guidance, without the guidance of a caring adult. But now, residents in our area can do something about that. Joining us now is Anne Marie Bisner, the executive director of the court-appointed special advocate program, and uh, we thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little. Bit. If people are interested in helping out, uh, what are some things that the uh, that the program allows them to do? Well, a court-appointed special advocate trains and supports volunteers who want to help children who are living in foster care right here in our community. Um, it's a perfect time with New Year's resolutions coming up that uh, people who want to get involved to help a child can do that by partnering one-on-one -on -one with a young person who's living in foster care and uh, spending time with them, getting to know them, and most importantly, getting to know their unique needs so that we can make recommendations to the juvenile court who makes decisions about the children who are living in foster care, um, we help them with the information that they need to make the best decisions for those children. Now, Ms. Bisner, we, uh, when we were starting the segment, we said that the children age out of foster care. Talk about that and why is that happening? Well, unfortunately, there aren't enough permanent homes available to children um, who enter the foster care system. Unfortunately, sometimes going home to their family is not an option, and then there is no other alternative. So young people are being essentially raised in the foster care system. In Maryland, they're lucky enough to stay in care until they're 21, but then they're really and truly on their own. Imagine a 21-year-old with no support systems, no one to call, um, and the state raised them. It's really um, a difficult circumstance for them. And our CASA volunteers intervene when they're younger, help them while they're getting older to gain the supports and the information, the knowledge, the resources that they need so that when they're 21, maybe they're not actually alone. Yeah, and your organization is calling for volunteers who can work with uh, teens and I guess young adults who are between 16 to 20 years old, uh, and they have specific needs. Tell me about that. Well, our young people, about 70% of whom we serve, is between the ages of 16 and 20, and we need people who are able and willing to help them, you know, develop their educational skills, employability skills, life skills. You know, it's not just, you don't wake up in the morning knowing that it's important to get to to work on time. That's something that people need to be taught. And our volunteers are stepping in and providing them mm -hmm. with that access to the information that they need to be successful adults. And if you think that you can help a young person learn how to be a successful adult, then we definitely need you. And our next question obviously would follow this is, uh, what are some of the requirements? Well, the only requirement is that you're 21 years old and that you go through our training and our background screening. We provide the support and the resources to our volunteers. Um, the most um, incredible thing about our volunteers is that they are extraordinary people who are reaching out, no, <laughs> ordinary people, reaching out to do extraordinary things for the children in foster care. Absolutely, and you're hosting a pre-service training for interested volunteers. Uh, tell us about that. Well, our, our training is extensive. It's about 37 hours hours of training that we require of our volunteers before they're matched with a case. Um, they definitely uh, go through and learn all about the law. They learn about uh, the needs of children, the needs of family, how to communicate, and, and how to advocate in the courtroom for the children that they are serving. Now, any um, number of volunteers you're looking for? Well, we have over 600 children in foster care and about 120 volunteers. So we like to um, train 20 to 30 people at a time, but we need hundreds of volunteers. Okay, well, let's get our viewers that information. If you are interested in becoming a volunteer, you can log on to pgcasa.org to apply. Again, winter pre-service training is scheduled to run from January the 24th to February the 21st. And we thank you so much for being here.